Do you know one of the biggest tools that we as parents and teachers overlook that can bring out the best in our children, the best in ourselves, help us connect, help us communicate, and help us with the discipline aspect, is body language. Usually we are so busy trying to decide what to do, what to say, to get our kids to do them what we want them to do, that we forget about the biggest tool of all, and that's body language. You see, usually children are watching our body language. They're feeling the energy or the vibration that we're sending out to them far more than they're hearing and computing our words. And so we can use our body language in powerful ways to help children release emotions that can create uncomfortable behavior. Now just to get an idea of the power of body language, go ahead and do this little exercise with me. Take your fingers like this and put them together in the OK sign. Go ahead and do it. Make the OK sign. Now watch. Take that OK sign and place it firmly on your chin. Okay, now so how many of you have that OK sign on your chin? And how many of you have it on your cheek? My guess is that most people have it on their cheek because we tend to pay more attention to what we see. And if what we see doesn't match with what we are hearing, it sends a mixed message. So as parents, when we are sending a message to our children, let's remember our body language and let's look at their body language so that we can connect and tune in. One way that a parent in one of my classes used this skill was with her teenage son. See, this parent was such a champion, such a positive parent, such a da-da, let's get going, the sun is shining, and no matter what's happened, we gotta carry on. And she was telling me how she was always trying to cheerlead her 14-year-old son, and how he was just sinking more and more and more into depression. She says, it doesn't matter what I say or how I try to cheer him up, it doesn't work. And I could just imagine her flitting about trying to cheer him up. And when we did this session on body language, she said, you know, I think I'm just going to copy his body language and be quiet. I said, yes, let's do that one. So that day, as her son came home, she made him a milkshake. And he sat down with his milkshake and he stirred it with his hand and his other hand and just like that, and she sat beside him, copying his body language, and didn't say anything. Well, she came back so excited. She said that day he started to talk, and he talked more that week than he had in the entire 14 years they had been together before, just because she tuned into how he was feeling without trying to fix him. And the same thing happened with a child care professional who had been working with a young boy who just kept banging his head against the wall and nobody knew what to do with this boy. He just kept at it. So when she learned this tool, she decided to get down there with him to his level, put her head against the wall and said, wow, she's, that, you must be really hurting inside to be banging like that. That would hurt. And the boy stopped and he looked at her and next thing you know, he burst into tears and was ready to talk. Was talking with her, sitting on her lap. The floodgates opened and the communication, the connecting opened. So when we're talking about connecting with our kids, just try that in the next week or so. Just feel in your body how your child feels. And instead of trying to fix them, just let them know that you're understanding how they feel and see what happens for them. Be ready to listen to them. And remember that the emotions that are released safely are not going to go underground and create the behavior we don't want. So anything we can do to connect with our children and help them release those emotions is going to be best for all of us. Until next time.